of the week. I have, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Food Network, but I love this guy, Robert Irvine. He's like another, most British people are assholes on television. That's why I love it. But, uh, no, I do. But this guy, he's hilarious because he's a great chef. He's in shape. And he has the face of Daffy Duck. Like, yeah, he's got big ears and buck tooth. But his wife is gorgeous. I mean, she is General Chow's daughter. Like, if you were to look at her, she's Chinese hot. She is fucking nice, bro. But anyway, we're going to try his uh, Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch peanut butter. I only saw peanut butter flavor because I've, uh, I've been on the protein thing with my diet and everything. So I have Which protein you're doing shakes. Very well at, by the way. I'm trying. I, I, I had a little, you know, I, I vent a lot on Facebook. That's like my outlet. So I don't um, abuse my family at home. You know what I'm saying? So I abuse people on Facebook. You know, I, I abuse myself on Facebook. But I couldn't. I'm just like on this. I, you know what it is? 500 pounds, and I lost 170. But I'm, I'm still 330. Like I'm still 330. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. Bro. I know. I know. I don't want instant gratification. But when for a year, I lost weight like every week, and I'm I'm trying to you're do the a, right thing. And you're hitting a plateau. I hit a big plateau. Well, so what? You know, don't don't like dwell on the, the little shit. I mean, you know why it's gonna happen. I mean, I went through the same thing. I I, I lost uh, 78 pounds, and then I hit a plateau, and then I lost another 20. You know, and then I went through a little shit and gained about 20. Right. All well, right. that's gonna happen. I, I expect yeah, no, that. No, but then I took that but. back off. I worked out like a son of a bitch Jan- yeah. last January to like uh, August, September. And then for some stupid reason, I stopped. I worked now out. Now I got to do all that over again. On a Tuesday once, real hard. Like on a Tuesday all once. Tuesday. No, nah, no. I was going <laughs> religiously. No, I believe you. I mean, I'm the job I have now. It should be simple. I mean, I should. I, uh, it's called laziness. It's just I won't go. And I don't know why. That's another thing. I got to change my job, I think, man. I'm a cab driver. You know, because, you know, comedy, you know, doesn't pay the bills yet. But no, comedy pays everything. It's the cab driving that just gives you the extra money in your yeah, pocket. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, my whole point is, like, I sit on my ass for 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? And it's not good. So yeah, well, I that's mean, the kind of job I don't need. No, well, do you I should be in the city, like, pulling a wagon through the streets. Okay. You know, those guys, one of those guys. Feed bag on you and shit. <laughs> I have a feed bag on me in my, and I gotta have a the shit bag too. You ever see that? That's fun to watch. That's so romantic. You ever, you ever do uh, that in Cape somebody, May? Somebody, please call in. You gotta hear this. Save me. Put up with. I know it's the coffee talking. <laughs> you ever go to Wildwood, Gene? You, I mean, uh, not Wildwood. You go to Cape May, Gene? Ever been there for my uh, anniversary? Uh, well, my honeymoon, really. My honeymoon. He, he did time there. Well, <laughs> he did time there. I. So I sort of did, did, sort of did. So I brought my young, hot, blonde girlfriend, right? I'm 10 years older than her. She's like, I'm trying to impress her. So I bring her to Cape May. Nice romantic night, nice romantic dinner. And then we, I already, because like Cape May, it's like, the, they have like the, the, it's like the fucking horse ride mafia down there. Like you have to, I'm serious. You have to, you have to reserve a horse, like fucking Billy Joel tickets. You know what I mean? Like God forbid. Oh, well, dude, you got to buy it in advance. They sell up right away. So we got all romantic. We get the like you could go in the the one that pulls like twenty people. I'm talking about the romantic one where it's just you and it's the two of you. Yeah. And uh, we're I don't so we get in. It's all nice. It's the whole we're going around town and it's the the brick. Yeah. We got all kinds of stuff going, and I don't I don't know what you feed it the fucking no. I don't know what this horse ate, but it decided to shit two minutes. After I tried to get romantic, like, I'm sorry, you, you're not going to get laid after that. After Plus, you're basically staring into a horse's asshole. Really? I mean, well, wait, aren't you sitting back? Yeah, you're behind it. Yeah, so isn't the guy that's driving staring at the ass? Doesn't I mean, why, matter, why, bro. The, car, the thing is moving. You can't, you can't hide. Couldn't you think of something more romantic than just... I didn't realize that they don't about, let the horse... they have, like, private beaches there that you could just, like... I know, but I was figured a horse and, and, and carriage ride. What's more romantic than that? But What's nobody told me... Bottle of wine, two glasses, you, her, and a towel on the beach. Nobody told me that there's a burlap fucking diaper hanging off the back of a horse. So it don't spur. Yeah, but it shits into this bag. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, it keeps the streets clean. This way I don't have to pay I understand. Jeez. Oh, yeah, but you know what? Who wants to look into a whale's eye that big, taking a shit while I'm trying to get in the mood? That's your fault. You did it. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't do nothing. What do you mean? You, you should have taken the horse for. 
Why can't you take the horse for a walk before I get on the... Take it for a walk? Yeah. Is a fucking dog? Hey, I, I, uh, put the leash on it. Let's take the horse for a walk before we hook it up. You don't think a horse is smarter than a dog? Horse walk around. Horse has to be smarter than a dog. I don't know about that. Dogs do tricks. What, what does a horse do? Horse is, you know... What? Is a horse, of course, of course. Well, they do... They You could, you could lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. Yeah, well... I don't know. <laughs> I figured it's smart because they use like horsepower. Like you know, they don't say like, "Oh, you like my fucking Corvette? It's got seventeen hundred dog power in it." They say horsepower, yeah, so it's got to be horsepower. Yeah, but horse has to be smarter than a dog, no? I don't know. You ever teach a horse a trick? Uh yeah. What did you teach it? I I taught my dog actually how to not how your to, dog a horse. You just said, "Did you ever teach a I dog?" Said you ever a, no, I said a horse. Play the tape back. You right, chef? Will miss it. Turn your fucking headphones up, you. And I'm the old one. I'm the old. Somebody fucking call in, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have the money to teach a horse new tricks or anything. But I've taught dogs. You know what I taught my dog one what time? Wow, I had to blow you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Peanut butter. No. Uh, that's the worst. You ever fall asleep high with your front door open with peanut butter? I woke up with 17 stray cats licking my asshole. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, you know what woke me up? The sound of this. This is what we John. <laughs> John, it's like, do you ever wake up to seventy cats licking you? This is all you hear. <laughs> Light the fire already! That's nothing. Did you see that stupid thing they're trying to sell on TV now? It's it's a mouthpiece for fucking humans, and it's a big tongue, and you're supposed to like you go like this, and it like licks your cat or whatever. It combs your cat. Licks your cat where? It's a big tongue. It's a mouthpiece, like a mouth guard. <laughs> How do you put a mouthpiece in, like for football? And instead of the thing coming out and going on the, on the face guard? We have a caller, guys. Hello, caller. One second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know how when a mouthpiece comes out and it attaches to the face? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, that. I face, understand what you're telling me. It's a big fucking tongue. It's a comb. And they got, they're showing a commercial. These idiots are going like this with their fucking cats. What? I hate cats to begin with. Who the fuck? Who the fuck would buy that oh shit? Oh my god, I gotta. That'd be awesome to see on QVC. I'm telling what? you, they were selling this shit. Caller is online. Hey Caller, guys, Caller, welcome to up? Hamilton. What's doing? going on? Who do we have here? You got Mark the Shark. Mark, Mark the, the shark. shark. What's up, Mark? How are you? We're doing good. Hey, John, how are you doing, buddy? Good, man. Mark the Shark. Mark the Shark. Happy New Year, bro. Do you know about this thing he's talking about? You could you could groom your cat with your fucking mouth. What is this shit? Uh, that sounds a little disgusting for me. Yeah, you're the, I mean, I, I weird. Was from the, the old lady, but did you see the, uh, the old lady's cool, but not from the cat? Yeah, you're supposed to it like grooms the it, it like grooms the cat. It's, it's a it's comb like that you put in your mouth. Why do you have to put it in your mouth? I don't understand. I don't know because like cats lick themselves. They feel like it's you're disgusting. licking. Them. It's fucked up. Put your dick in a blender, people. What the hell? And this guy, me and you are trying to bust our ass putting shows together, and some asshole's licking his cat, and he's like, I know how to make millions. Yeah. It's like, Holy what, are we, what are we doing? Here? <laughs> what's up, Mark? What do you, what's going on with you, bro? What are you doing? You working today? Nothing. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of semi-retired now, but uh, I just wanted to call him because I saw John's post on Facebook earlier there, and Oh, I apologize. And, uh, and I haven't talked a, talked a lot since uh, the old T.G. Shamrock's days, uh, 25 plus whatever years ago. T.G. Uh, Shamrock. You got to understand, John, John. How's everything, man? John's over Good, 60. Man. He's How he's he doesn't I'm, he's trying to remember who you are. What's yes. your real last name? Nah, nah, I don't do that all online. Just uh, tell him T.G. Shamrock. I'll know who I am. T.G. Shamrock. Where the fuck was she? Uh, I like how the caller thinks we have an audience yeah, that would give like, a shit what yeah, his last I name know, is. Really? Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Hey, hey, Mark, give me, give me, T.G. No, Shamrock. No, actually, the last name is Wiener. Mark Wiener. Mark Wiener, holy shit. Mm. Your old man used to own the shoe store. Apparently. Now I know why you didn't want to tell us your last name. We're not going to rip on your dick Right, boy. Mark? <laughs> That's all right. You can rip on me all you Mark. Way. I've got pretty thick skin in my old age. Mark, you're from Popton Lakes, right? Originally? Yes, I am. Yeah, yes. now I know this guy. Nice. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really good guy, man. Yeah, yeah born and raised, man. Are you you're still married, right? Oh yeah, married to Denise. Yes, Denise. Knows her. I, I know. I know his wife yeah. and everything. Good people, really good yeah. people. What hey, a guy! Uh, what a guy with a last name Wiener. Your wife has to have good buns. No. 
<laughs> his wife. That's what I said. He don't know my. He don't, no, 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 my first wife. My kids get busted out all the time with this with the last name, but it's all you know. It's all good. You well, know, would you rather it, have? It could be worse. You which, could be, your last name could be related could, to Anthony Weiner. True, and your last name. You know what my last name was growing up? Buddha. It actually was Buddha. Could you? Would, would you rather have Buddha and be fat, or Weiner? <laughs> And I don't know. Are you red and long? I don't know what to tell you. No, <laughs> I'm not red and long. <laughs> where Where are you at now? Where do you yeah, where, where, where are you calling are you from, bro? Jersey or? Hello? Yeah, no, I'm in I'm in South Florida. You're in South Florida. Oh man, cool, cool man. Yes, sir. What's the temperature out there? Seventy. Oh, yeah, the weather was beautiful today, man. Awesome. Eighty-one degrees. 81. No humidity. You see my fucking middle finger from there? Here, how about that? Man, 81. That's awesome, man. It was a high of fucking 48 here today. How's it driving out there? It's just like it's like it's like Sunday every day, right? In Florida, when you drive. Oh, oh, yeah, no shit, no a shit. Lot, shit. A lot of no road shit. rage where it's, you are. It's Snowbird Central this time of year. You know, all the idiots Snowbird come down Central here and <laughs> they think they own everything. So, hey, Eddie Clark, hey, just, Eddie got Clark here. just walked in. All right. What's up, my dude? Booyah, what's up? How are you, bro? We got Mark on the phone. I got you a coffee. I don't know if you drink hey, Mark, coffee. Tell us I said hello, you know, man. It's great to hear you. Man. No, I know. You That's know? all good. It's been a long time. That's I why know. we told you the show started at fucking 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> He's right on time. Yeah, really. Yeah, for... <laughs> but, Mark, did you hear what I said? Mark, yes. you still there? I said, give your wife my best. And you guys are great people. When, how, how long have you been in Florida? Uh, it'll be 20 years next month. 20 years, you're there. Wow. I mean, it's been a long time since we talked. But 20 years. And when I go down to Florida, uh, we're, you're, you're down South Florida, but what, what part? Are you like by Boca or are you on the West Well, side? no, I'm not. I'm actually, uh, I'm like right on the border between North Florida and South Florida. So I'm like an hour south and east of Orlando. I live in uh, the Broad County. Oh, he was south, the Rednecks. And, uh, we're getting so, ready to, is that anywhere near like watch Comedy it. Hell, which is Homosassa Springs? No, Homosassa Springs. You ever played there? Yes, I have. Oh, dude, man, that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. It was, I was like, we. I, I did this gig, right? Uh, what was it, Giggles? Yeah. Giggles Comedy Giggles Club. Giggles Comedy Club. Right? And I go there, and they, they looked at me, and they said, uh, I go, what's the do's and don'ts? You know, because you got to know that. got to know. You perform. And I'm like, what's the do's and don'ts? And they're, and they're like, anything goes. I go, anything goes. And my wife could contest this because she was with me, right? And she, they go, yeah, anything goes. So I'm up there. I'm doing this bit. And, and it's weird because you're up on this stage and everybody's down below in a pit. Yeah. In tables. And then around you up top is a halo. And there's this big fucking moose staring at you. Oh, my God. Okay? And, and there, there's, like, people up top, too, right? I would stage, yeah. I would try to now, stage dive. As, I'm, as I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to perform, there's a guy sitting up top. And every time I use the F-bomb, he's going like this. Like he's counting how many times I, I, I was dropping the F-bomb, uh, right? And I was like looking, and I'm thinking, when well, they told me anything goes. So I said, I did a Chips, Chips Cooney thing. I said, oh, fuck it. I'm going to fuck this guy up by doing it. You know, that fuck, 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 fuck thing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, I, and I did it, right? And the guy's going like this. Right? You can't keep up, you jerk off. I go like that. Jesus. At the end of the thing, I told my agent, I said, you book me here again. I swear to God, I'll fucking kill you, man. They got rednecks over there, man. Oh, they get, those rednecks over there. Hey, Mark, there. Mark, thanks for calling, bro. Thank hey, you. Yeah, Mark, thank you. I'm yeah, sorry. No problem, man. Don't stay on if you want. Yeah, John. Well, don't, John said yeah, to give your yeah. wife your best, and I know you haven't done that since the honeymoon, <laughs> so. <laughs> don't don't no, hurt no, yourself no, trying. No, no. That's, that's a daily thing, man. Thank daily you for thing. calling in, bro. Right, call in any. I'll watch you guys on uh, Facebook Live. We'll talk to you guys. Soon. All right, bro. Oh, call in any time, bro. Take care of yourself. It was good talking right, to you. Peace husband. out, bro. Later. Thanks a lot, man. I got to tell you something real quick. But uh, I, 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 Springs, yeah, go ahead. There are rednecks down there. I mean, the rednecks down there are so rednecks, they call me boy, and I didn't get offended. Wow. I mean, these guys are good oh, at it. Oh, they are. Yeah. They are. I look at why they're nice about it. <laughs> they are good about it. But you know what? I got to tell you something. This is true. Uh, there was a guy. I can't. There's a town outside of Homer Sausage Springs. Is where a um, little small place. Uh, there was a gas station. I just all I remember about the place. They took me up there. But um, one of the guys actually ran me once a cruise ship. I'm not making this up. This dude. <laughs> he tells me. He goes. Uh, he goes. Hey, Eddie. I says. Uh, what you gonna do? He said. Well, we in Jamaica. I ain't never been to Jamaica. I wanna go see exactly how these black people down here do. I said. All right, man. I said. But yo, check yourself because people get sucked into this, right? He got off the ship that morning wearing a cowboy hat, uh, a cut-off T-shirt, blue jeans, cowboy boots, had a cigar in one hand and a bottle of Jack Daniels. I'm not making this up. 
And he left. And he got off the ship. Got off the ship. Like that. In like ja- that. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Ocho Rios? Yeah. Holy now you know what I'm talking shit. about. Now you know where this is going. Like, apparently, got a cab, went up in the mountains. But he's, the mountains. he's an American. He's a redneck. Love Donald Trump. Damn it. God bless America. That's the way he was. I ain't lying. That fool came back. Five o'clock. Ship left at 6.15. He came back at 5 o'clock wearing fake dreadlocks, a Bob Molly t-shirt, cut off shorts and jeans, had a split in one hand and a bottle of overproof rum in the other. I said, what's wrong with you? You a white man. You a redneck. What's wrong with you? White. He looked at me and said, fuck the white man. <laughs> he was oh, blasted. Damn. I'm sure he, he was, was. blasted. He That's said, because out here we got the best shit in the world, man. Yeah, everybody knew they it. fucked him up, man. Yo, he, would, he, <laughs> went out, he, he left. He left his trunk. Came back as Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's too funny. Man. He was too black for me when he came back. I remember <laughs> Homeless Assassin Springs. I look at the audience. I go, Damn. I get. Do we I, have? I any... cringe every time you say that word. Oh, it's funny. They should change Asbury to Homosassa <laughs> Springs. <laughs> no, dude, dude. As you're driving up to this place, no bullshit. Okay, it's nothing but farmland, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing but fucking farmland. Mm. And all of a sudden, you come upon this little. Oasis that is a gas station, yep. a Walmart, a McDonald's. And the Walmart's popular. Right. A McDonald's, two trailer parks, and a fucking hotel. It's no joke. Okay. And and the, the club is inside the hotel. I was like, I go, is there any Italians here? One person raised their <laughs> hand and goes, I think I'm Italian. I tell you. <laughs> That's I, what they say for I, real. I think I'm Dude, Italian. there's places like that in Pennsylvania, bro. Like, you'll be driving through the woods, and then all of a sudden you'll see lights and just trucks parked on the grass. Because they don't put fucking parking lots anywhere in Pennsylvania either. Oh, it's just so parking on the grass. You've been to St. Mary's, Pennsylvania. <laughs> But that's how oh, it is, man. man. So how you been, man? How you been? What's going on? What's I'm cooking? What's shaking? Here, man. What's I just, baking? I got to leave. I'm heading out for Florida tomorrow, man. Nice. Yeah, I got to go down there and work. And I'll be out and working uh, next week. Cool, man. Down that way. It's, um, I, I got finished with all this stuff. I found out everything at the last minute because I knew I was gone. But all of a sudden, it's like, oh, we need you tomorrow. I'm like, what? I, okay, bet. You so, go down to shoot? I'm getting, no. No, no. I'm going down. I'm going to comedy. I'm doing comedy. Who's uh? Who are you down there with? Um, down to I, I don't even know the name of the room. That's how bad this is. Really? Yeah, I'm I'm leaving them going. I'm leaving them all. I have nice. no clue where to find them. I know I'm a Orlando, Orlando guy. Oh, I, I said, what's the name of the place? You're, oh, don't worry about it. You're playing Probably. Jafar in Disney. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all that <Diamond>. evil. <laughs> the diamond but in the rough. It's, it's delightful. Who's booking? Bring you? me my parrot. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this black man here. You are a gorgeous black man. Get me a carpet now. Find me Ali Abu <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh, Do what? you have insurance for your carpet? <laughs> <laughs> what brother does? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Did Roger put you down here? Yeah. He didn't say where. No, he just said, you're going. Okay, you go. Right. Okay. I didn't ask. I, my wife, I told my wife I left. I said, look, baby. She said, I'm leaving. She said, yeah, I know you're leaving Saturday. I said, no, I'm, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, I got to go out to the car. I'll be back. And I came back because I forgot something. I went back inside, and I heard on the phone talking about the assholes leaving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I just got married. This yeah, is this just was, wrong. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Did you, are you still like a newlywed? Then I said, honey, is that? Yeah, I said, honey, is that you? And then she started speaking in German. I'm screwed, dude. Oh, <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> once, hey, if you want to see Eddie Clark once, live. Once the swine hunt to be leaving. <laughs> 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 I, I heard her say, I thought I heard her say, Mock Snail, Mock Snail, and he's hurry up, hurry yeah, up. Yeah. No, no, she was blowing a guy saying, Mark smells. I don't know, Mark. He said, It's a terrible situation. You're in trouble, bro. <laughs> if, you to see Eddie, if you see any, if you want to see any live, on March 18th, yeah, in Greenwood maybe. Lake, New York, we're going to be at the Old Castle Tavern, which is haven't now called been in a, I haven't been the to Greenwood Castle Lake in a while. Cove. I love that place. And it's a free show, and you have to make your reservations yeah, now. Man, that's it's right. Be it's sold like, sold it's like it's, black it's, people after the Civil War, free at last. Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, oh, I'm sorry. It's like me after I married my white wife. Sold out. <laughs>
Yeah, but it's a, it's a free show, free Which, admission, and uh, if you don't make your reservations, you're not going to get in. Yeah, you got to get in, so, man. Uh, we got fun that night. Yeah, we, we're going to have that a last class. time. Oh man, uh, you dude. guys don't know. Oh my god, no. I can't wait clothes. to go back to the Cove again, man. Uh, that place. Was, we're going to bring you back there that in April. <laughs> that place was so. Much. We didn't even have a seat on the toilet. In oh, Avengers. ain't that amazing? That shit was packed, yo. <laughs> guys, we're trying to get the. They're trying to get the bathroom. Sorry, man. I'll keep on. We passed around a bucket, pissing this. You ain't getting up. I was, oh, I was sort of pissing it? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't face wash. <laughs> it cleared up that acne, though. So. Thanks very much. <laughs> What'd you get your wife for Christmas, man? Me? Yeah. Did yeah. you get her anything? I'm a Jew, man. What'd she think, man? I'm Come on, Jewish, bro. Jewish, man. I don't play that. Wow, you got to give her 12 gifts, isn't Yo, man, it? You got to no, be no, so for your Eight. She gave me eight. She really did hook me up. For Hanukkah, she did hook me up. I, I hooked she? her up, too. Are you Jewish? Yes, I didn't know that. Yeah, I hope. All right, so what'd you get for Hanukkah? Did you get her anything? I got, I got a lot of nice stuff. What'd you get her? I don't remember, you man. I just selfish I just, bastard. I just remember walking around going. In. Actually, what I did is I, I, I got her a, a day in the spa. Like, I mean, but I didn't go with that discount, one hundred fifty, yeah, three hundred dollar crap. The real thing. Oh no, she's hooked. From the time she walks, they're gonna have her in there approximately four and a half hours. Like, she ain't leaving no time. So, so. In other words, you're going to pour her into the car. Oh, my deal is I already told already. I got a limo that's actually already paid for. A limo's going to pick her up from now. See, now you made Hold fun of me. Second. Hold on before you, you go any further. You made fun of me for asking you what you gave her, and you gave her some sick shit. Hold on before that's you go any awesome. further. Huh? Joanne, shut the fucking thing off. I don't want to hear <laughs> any of this. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. The limo's going to take her there. And then she'll get hooked up and everything else. I got something special that's going to be waiting for her when she gets there. Uh -huh. Jamaica? Yeah. The Jamaican special? Yeah, the Jamaican special, okay, probably. Cool. Right? But I got something waiting for her when she gets there. And then when she gets finished, she comes out in the limo and bring her back home. And then I do her. Nice. And then I do her. I and do you mess her. Are it you going to be up? here, though? Oh, I'll be here. Or will Mark She's be not, here? She's waiting until I come back. Well, Mark might be there, but he smells. I'll know if he was there. <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst luck with stuff. I bought, her, like, when I, like, 10 years ago, when I first got married, mm -hmm. like, first anniversary, I bought my wife this uh, massage, like you. But not what I thought. It was at the mall, and I had oh, no clue. No. And yeah, it was a coupon, right? No, not, yeah. not, not in the hallway. Not, not. No, 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 no. Oh, it was the worst the thing you could think of. The Japanese lady got no, you no, right no, no, there no. by the bedroom. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's the machine that you oh, climb no, in. Oh, no, no. And it's like a big water oh, coffin. Yeah. No. And water massages you. water massages you. you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so you actually paid to have your girlfriend got the shit kicked out of her by water. Right. Oh, man, she must hate you. And she's right. still with you, huh? No. Yo, give her my no. number. <laughs> give her my number. But this year, way. Give her this my year, number. my girlfriend, I got her a Dyson because she loves cleaning. And I know it sounds sexist, but that's what she wanted. Uh, I don't know about sexist. It sounds stupid. That's certain no, things I just dude. won't do. Yo, now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you right now. Carrie Ann I'm doesn't still mind keeping the house clean. It. She does a great, you know, she goes. Are you talking, I, are you I, talking I, about this imaginary wife of yours that we've never met? Oh, well, you all see pictures? Oh, no, I don't give a shit about pictures. <laughs> You, you were supposed to take her to the show. All of a sudden, something came up. No, no. You were supposed to bring her here tonight. It's not my fault, What man. happened tonight? She's actually sick. I'm not dead sure. She's oh, dead now sick. she's still she sick. Could, yo, she can't talk right now. Would you buy a sick? You, you married she a can't sickly talk. girl? She, no, she, well, what can I she's tell you? She's always sick. She, no, she's sick. This, she's really she, sick. She can't talk right now because your hand isn't up in the puppet. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I bought her a Dyson. Listen to this, right? I bought her a Dyson. I did. <laughs> so listen, romantic. listen, listen. So she was like all excited, right? So she's like, I just want to show you how awesome this thing is. Right? <laughs> so she turned it on literally for 30 seconds. She took it off and she shows me all the dirt that it picked up. She goes, this fucking thing is so awesome. Look inside here. She goes, there's pubic hair from your ex-wife from five years wow. ago. That's how strong the shit is. She writes material too. This she good. does. <laughs> She's, yeah, she's rub it off, man. She's that's funny. Off. Oh my god, that's funny. Let me write that down. <laughs> I'm going to Florida. You mind if pubic, I use that? There's pubic, and you know, trust me, everybody else in Florida. <laughs> Tell me, yo, yeah, five no. seconds after you left, you think half those guys weren't doing your act? Oh, yeah. oh, they're horrible. That some of those guys are horrible. Where's that? And the new and the guys from up here, the Jersey guys, the New York guys, the, the, the Northern guys, they go down there, man. It's like they didn't believe it till they went down. I have a bunch of friends. Yeah, but you want to know something? They all think it's it's all right. The, how do I put this? There's there's different cliques that hang out together. Mm -hmm. All right, you know how like um, what's his name? That Sandler used to hang out with those guys. Mm -hmm. He puts them in his movies and shit. <laughs> right, like that. right. Okay. <laughs> but these guys, the way they do it is like when they're. I don't want to name names. When somebody's down in Florida, mm -hmm. it's okay to do his friend's stuff because it's a different zip code according to him. Yeah. Okay. And it's fine. 
And they, they actually do it. Because I've worked with these guys, and they do each other's stuff. I had a kid one time, did my opening line. Did it. He I've opened it for you, and he did your opening line. 1984, I've been doing this bit. Got it on Rascal's Comedy Club. Yeah. I just showed you told me about this. Yeah. The kid told me. He said, he tells me, he goes, is that, that? oh, I wrote it, I wrote it, I wrote it. Okay. So I sat down. I brought him back to my, my place. I said, yo, I got this bit I'm working on. I want you to help me punch it up a little bit. I said, you write pretty good. And I turned and I said, Rascal uh, County. I said, oh, man. So here's this skinny me coming out with my kid and play hair. hair. Coming on your eyes. Nice. Look at, and he's looking. And the line comes up. And the kid looks at it. And the kid goes, uh, yo. I said, yo, man. 1984. So how did, where did he the see kid, you? The kid, the kid, he saw it when they were, we used to play replay Rascals all the time, right? Uh-huh. Rascal Comedy Hour. So he looked at it and he says, no, I mean, he goes, I, honestly, I bought it from another guy. So who's the guy? <laughs> who's the guy? <laughs> oh, my God. But I'll tell you something. Bobby Woods told me a long time ago. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember Bobby Woods from back in the day. No. Great Long Island comic. I mean, just a genius. Bobby Woods said something a long time ago. I did, when I first started comedy, I did um, one of Richard Jenny's jokes in front of Richard Jenny. I didn't realize it. I didn't know. Back, I just didn't know any better. Right. So I did the bit. And what I did is I put a curse word or something in it, you know, and Supposedly that changed it. So Jenny got all upset with me. He tripped out, and then Bobby calmed him down, and Bobby put me aside. He says, let me tell you something, pal. I want you to always remember this. As long as you use somebody else's material, you steal somebody else's material, you'll always have an act, but you'll never have a career. Right. I never forgot that. I never forgot that. Because you don't know, you know, it's like like a lie. It's like a lie, all the time. Yeah, that's okay. (laughs) (laughs) No, but see... You'll never know who you took it from. You're never going to remember. You don't remember. You're not going to know when you did it. Then you're actually in your mind to think you wrote it. That's what happens. You I know, think that's you, what you, you forget the details. This kid had been doing comedy three years. It's annoying, man. Only three years. Three years. Got to write your own uh, stuff. And listen, I there are there are parallel universe. You know, people write oh, yeah. sort of the same it jokes happens. and things. Well, like that. Ski but not that when I you do. you know not okay. A whole... That's a true story. All right, It'll just be about skiing and stuff like that. Somebody told me, uh, Buddy Hackett. I had a, a, a bit about skiing. Like, it wasn't the same exact story, but it was, you know. Yeah, I know that similar, whole bit. I never yeah, heard I it. The whole bit. I never heard it. Ju- he goes up into the mountains, and the, son, the lady says to him, So you ready to ski? He goes, Not this Jew. Just Jew don't ski. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a whole, I forget how it goes, that's, but that's, you they, know, are, they are, I'll be honest, they are similar, but. That's the mask. That's a true story. No, that's the mask. I, I, I can have the people that, that got me fucking drunk. But that's what a master is. Now, not for nothing. I didn't do that on purpose. You told Buddy Hackett's material from what fifty years oh, ago, yeah, I remember and, it's, it. and you just the way you said it. I, yeah. I'm thinking of Buddy. I just thought back. That's what the that's yeah, what the great. masters wall about. That's yeah. what they were. And you, know you just saying? remember. And you know what? You know, there's only there's only a couple of guys like that left. You know, you got the Paul Veneers. You got the first, no, I'm dead serious. You got the Paul. Well, they're not that old. Wait no, 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 no. I mean, you guys, you gonna look at 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 guys like Paul Veneer, like Louis C.K. Lewis Black, you go look at these guys years from now and go, holy crap. Yeah. You know, the masters. There's oh, certain yeah. guys that are masters. Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? Chappelle. Chappelle, master. unbelievable. Another master. Right? I mentioned. I mentioned. Uh, now, is he coming uh, back? Because he's like my, he's my, my uh, Chris Rock my guy. No, but I, I heard Chappelle might be coming back. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been working on that. stuff. He's working on stuff? He's working on stuff. And Chris. Uh, Chris Rock. The other guy, uh, 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 Rush Hour. Oh, Tucker. Oh, Tucker. Tucker. Chris Tucker, he's back. He's doing, uh, he's probably doing Radio City Music Hall. In hey, man. Yeah. Really? I'm gonna put my foot in your ass, man. I ain't afraid of nobody. <laughs> you you have issues, booty. Yeah, you have, <laughs> you have, I love you know, Chris you, Tucker. You, you ever see Chris Tucker when he does Michael Jackson as a crossing guard? No. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, he's like he's like, oh wait, wait. <laughs> look at this. Like look this. At this. And he goes, mm, Oh no, you did it! Stop it, goddammit! You see that school bus over there? And he puts the foot up in the air. He goes, I'm gonna kick somebody's ass up in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> it's hysterical, man. <laughs> I love oh, it. Man. We need a uh, don't forget if you want to, if you want to call in, the phone number is 609-800-1003. Give us a call. <laughs> we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. You can talk to Eddie Clark. You can talk you to know, myself, oh, Buddha. You're a headliner whatever. and I'm a, I've been headlining too. So you like those are, I do Chris Tucker, I do all these, but I don't have time. Like I wish I had impressions, man. Yeah, I do a lot of impressions. <laughs> funny, man. Uh, he's got good, he does great for That's us. That's funny. Uh, I do Chris I see now I've always looked for a joke where I can incorporate all my impressions together so i do um i do all these characters having sex with my ex 
<laughs> so, oh, it's great. So they, yeah, it's great. So I do Chris Tucker, and I have do, Chris Tucker. He's trying not to have an orgasm, so like he's yelling at himself, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey man, no man, you better fake a Jackie Chan, man. Fake a Jackie yeah. Chan, right Jackie Chan, I'll still kick your ass, man." <laughs> you know, I just. <laughs> I do every do. I do an Optimus Prime. Oh, no. having sex with yes, oh, yes. Oh, no. I do. Oh, I got here a little bit. So I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots, and it is time for me to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Autobots transform. <laughs> Where is your allegiance, you Discepticon filth? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> You're sick. I am. I am. You're sick. I can probably. My my goal in in, in comedy <laughs> is sick. once I headline like and I could get an hour like I'm gonna have uh, a dry erase board on either side of the uh, <laughs> stage with with all the characters that I do and every time I do one a hot girl in a bikini is gonna come by and erase it as I go that's as funny. I do the whole set that's so funny. that's my goal in life so my goal is to have an act yeah <laughs> you know I don't have I don't have the time like dude I, I'm like I get twenty minutes. 30 minutes, like even when I headline shows for places, they only want you to do like 20 or 30 minutes. Like, it's, you know what it is? Let it's so it's weird. Like, it's it, like, I'll give you an example. I got people right now that they, call me up. They, cause I, you know, I quit cruise ships like a few years ago. Did you? But now they're all calling me up, asking me to come back and do them. How come you gave that up? I got you just didn't I like burnt it? out, man. Yeah, see? I got burnt out every morning. Welcome to the lovely island of. And then they started getting like really strict with a bunch of stuff too, man. You gotta you know be saying? really, really squeaky yeah, clean. Yeah, you know, you know, sometimes you gotta be clean. If you say something, you say adult show, and they warn them it's adult. The only place you can really lose your mind is on Carnival. They just don't care. No, you they don't give a shit. You can say carnival, anything you want. You can say anything. That was the last line I quit. Well, forward your number to me, and I'll say I'm Eddie Clark. And yeah. then, you know. <laughs> just tell them you will talk again. I can have a race <laughs> change. They have that now. You can get a sex change. You could also get a race change. Yeah, that. Well, I saw Sammy they Sosa, that. so that's obviously that's true. That's <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. You see Sammy Sosa? Folks, Google Sammy Sosa. And it prepared to be to scare, to scare your ass off. Man. What happened? You got hit with an asteroid? Hell no, man. My man, he got caught with steroids. Yeah. And he, so he quit. Instead of playing the last year of his contract, he gave up the money and he quit the Chicago Cubs. Right. Deflated. And if you think I'm lying, Google Sammy Sosa and put it on uh, and put it on images. Look for yourself. You ain't gonna believe what homeboy. Yo, why they, they say they once you go, white? yo, he's living proof. Once you go black, he will not go back. You, you see him now, he ain't coming back. He gone. He's gone. He fifth dimension. This That's dude it. is so white. Yeah, yeah. You what probably I can happened? see the look on your face. Yeah, yeah. Folks, Google Sammy oh, Sosa, what and then happened? go when you Google, go to images, and you ain't gonna believe what you are gonna see. Right? Yeah, he had sixty three home runs. That six, that sixty third one took the black off his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He, that, he, that, don't that, do steroids. I bet you show that to high school kids. I bet you they won't do steroids. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> they, they show him his nuts too. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm, they say his whole body. Is, he did something. Whatever he did, he did to his whole body. It's scary. Oh, my God. That's steroids. I, yo, man. I think that's yo. what color a Smurf turns when it holds its breath. <laughs> that shit. He's like that's off gray. Up. He's like off gray. <laughs> yo, that dude looked like a fucking zombie. Holy it's scary, shit. man. It's crazy. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, they want to, they want to have it all, like, you know, because, I mean, let's face it. He's one of the Chicago Cubs best home run hitters right. all time. What happened? How you does that happen? They, you would think they would bring him back. They, 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 don't, they haven't had a day to bring him back. No, they want to retire his number, but no, they can't. They, they can't. They don't believe it's, it's him. They just, no, nobody <laughs> believes it. That's a white man. <laughs> maybe, he bought, maybe he bought that Michael Jackson face cream. That's what I'm thinking, man. Maybe he had Vicky Lachis. What the hell is that called again? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Let me look it up. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Let me look it up. Vigilatis. Vig, 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 Vigilato. Janet, Vigilato. What are you to Whatever. Say? Sounds like a coffee. Yeah, yeah let me get a uh, Bente <laughs> Facchiato. <laughs> Let me get what a black man t- look like when he turned white. <laughs> Y'all crazy. That motherfucker was black. Yo, man. If but, you, I mean, like Michael you know Jackson what's had up? all that surgery. Oh, God. His, that was all plastic. His face turned white, but the rest of his body is black. Motherfucker looked like a goddamn black and white cookie. I wish I could show you folks right now. That was if good. you just go to Google, put good. his name in, and go to images, there's a side-by-side picture. Yeah, yeah we just like, saw that. I just that, looked at That's it. amazing. Is that crazy? I mean, that is like... Unreal. And then he got the nerve. What was one taking the He got a certificate. He got to stand up there pointing at what he used to look like. Like he pointing like, yeah, like the this what picture I like. him as a white as a white guy pointing his black picture like he said, yeah, that's the one that did it. So what's he, <laughs> like, what, what's he asking Trump for a job now? Or I, <laughs> oh, oh my god. god, it's unreal. 
That's a it's hysterical. unreal, man. It's like you just yo. I ain't never want yo. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not even. Not you even, know what it looks like. You ever see in Bayville? Did you want to do? Did you ever see Eddie Murphy? That's just he, wrong, man. He looks like when Eddie Murphy did the white guy. Yeah. In um. Coming to America? Yeah, the old white guy in, in the barber shop. Yeah. And it took while. Ah, why do you have yeah, to come that? in and sit down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's Sammy Sosa, man. Yeah, no, it's Even, a shame. Yo, I just realized something. I think he messed with his lips. Oh, brother, no, not the lips. We need the... <laughs> <laughs> not the lips, my brother. He can spot... Look at that. A yellow T-shirt on him This does not work anymore. No, See, you don't you, look I'm like... black. You put it... Folks... Put a, imagine me in a yellow T-shirt. Now imagine me white in a yellow T-shirt. <laughs> See? Black and yellow, black go, and y'all, yellow, y'all black go and make, yellow. Y'all want to go make egg sunny side up now, don't you? <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, hey, he looks like egg salad. He like, yo, man. It's like, That's yo. Oh, I like this picture. This is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he looks oh, like, show that to the camera. He, he looks like, show that to yo, the camera. He looked like Mel Gibson from Braveheart. Like Look at that. this, folks. I wouldn't lie to you. Look right? at that shit. That's the man. Wow. That's him. Now, see, this is me. <laughs> see, Wait, is that the camera? Michael Jackson was wrong. It Wait, does man. matter if you're black or white. What camera are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. John, that's the camera for it your face. The it's other camera's Oh, okay. <laughs> I just which one look, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm looking at. I wonder if he had a, cl- a cleft in his chin put in and everything. It's just wrong. It's insane. It's wrong. But yo, if, he, if next year he has red hair and freckles. It's all over, man. We're gonna, <laughs> they, you know what they'll do? They'll remake the Andy Griffin show. <laughs> I'll, Opie, uh, Opie, grown up. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll do like a, a remix. <laughs> this dude. Yo, you, He's good, isn't he? He got some. A little, little black in you there, maybe? You got issues. Uh, not right this minute. No. Right, where He's is Jewish. He? <laughs> he is part Jewish. Well, nobody's perfect. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've gotten that by injection. rinsed off. Injection? Your wife, yeah, your wife I injected her, Italian in her. Because she used to no, she stick her is. finger up your ass. Wow. That's this guy doesn't want to talk about sex with his wife. Wait, gonna, he has no problem talking about me getting a finger in my yeah, ass. I'm right. liking it. Yeah, my wife. My I wife, love it. My wife's German, which is like, and I'm Jewish. It's kind of messed up. My first wife was black. My second wife was like Jewish and my third wife is like German. That's right. Do you Bible. eat Jewish style? Do you eat like kosher food and stuff? Not all the time. Ugh. During the holidays sometimes. I still like matzah. I eat my, I'll eat matzah in a heartbeat. I like matzah. Are you peanut serious? Butter. Yeah, yeah, throw some matzah, a little peanut butter. Matzah tastes apples. like the box the cracker comes in. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> that tastes pretty good too. <laughs> On a hard day, that works. <laughs> See, I was married to a Jew. That food, first of all, you got to sit around and talk for four hours before you eat. Did you do all that? Uh, sometimes she did want to talk too much. Yes, that's, that's, you know, she had yeah. to talk. Yes, you know why they put horseradish on everything? Why? Because it all tastes like paper. That's uh, why, of course. I love, I love horseradish. Gefilte! Do you pass the gefilte I like, fish? I like gefilte fish, too. What's wrong with gefilte fish? <laughs> it tastes like slimy brains. No, that, well, I don't know. I've never tasted slimy brains before. I know uh, it's gefilte fish. Just if I were to guess. Gefilte fish is all right with me. Lox, I like. Uh, Lox is good. Nova. Chop. Nova? Chop, yeah, Nova of course, Scotch. Of course, you got to go Nova, man. Nova Scotch. And, and so uh, chopped liver? Of course. You able to see the video? What video? Do you like white fish? I don't care about the video, do I? You like white fish? Uh, black fish, white fish, blue fish, two yeah, fish. Goldfish. Two, go two. fish. All right, whatever. Whatever works for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what else is there? Uh, uh, flunkin in the, in the matzo soup. You know what that is? Yeah. You don't like the meat? Yeah. Matzo ball soup? Nah. You don't like yeah, that? You don't like matzo ball soup? I like matzo ball chicken, soup. It's chicken, it's chicken soup, soup with, with a with fucking a, with big a, ball, with a, ball in it. With it. the yeah. balls? It's all right. I like it. It all depends. I, I, I won't get it you my like favorite place too? anymore. I used to I love the pens. I, I like the, the nuts, the apple nuts, whatever, that you put on the lettuce. The mortar. Yeah, that's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, mortar's good. It's like it's... But mortar? Only, yeah, but people only like have it. Like what they put... No, no, like no, bricks no, no, on no, no. It's just like all this stuff you put it on there. During Passover, you put it on, you put it on your... Yeah, uh, I'd pass over that one, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you right now. <laughs> you, know what the, you know what the secret to my... And that's another thing. See, one thing I did steal from my ex-wife, and I'm keeping, and she's going to sue me one day. <laughs> but, um, like, the brisket. You know she made a brisket with, with Coca-Cola? Really? Yeah. Really? Now, yo, I'm what, that's what I told, bitch. I told them everything. Damn right I did. Now, Tell are you making it in a plastic bag? That. Huh? You make it in a plastic bag? Of course. Yeah. With the carrots and everything? Yeah. The potatoes? Of course. Yeah, it's my, mom, that way. my mom does that. that way. But, you, but, you, but you put that. It's Coca-Cola. The, you know, you put the Coca-Cola. Trust me. That's what I said. Well, you put it in the bag? Yeah. That's How what about, I said. Like a whole can? Oh, no. Uh, a can? Yeah, about a can. 
So it gets caramelized, oh, right? God, it's so yeah. good. It's wow. so freaking good. Who the hell thought of that? I guess she did. You know? And look, the, the fancy spots have stole the whole idea from her and ran off with it. I don't know about Jewish food, but I made, I made a heart attack food a couple weeks ago. You like what, lakas? <laughs> no, dude. I made, I made a meatloaf. Okay? I, I'm, I'm talking like a fucking meatloaf. All right? All right good. It's like the size of a football. <laughs> okay. There's only me and my wife. There's only yeah. two of us. It's like my Monogot. My okay. Monogot, you see. <clears throat> right. Okay. I love football size Monogot. Mini football size Monogot. So, no, that's what it is. I, I, we're still I talking sauteed. about food, right, guys? Yeah, yeah we're talking about yeah. food. I, 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 saute, I, sauteed, <laughs> I sauteed mushrooms and onions okay. and celery. Okay. All right. And then I put it in with the meatloaf mix. You know? Okay. And I mixed it all. And I made this big meatloaf. And then I cut it horizontally. Okay. I took the top off. Put my fist in the middle like this. And made an indentation. And then I, I just packed it with sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. Okay. Put the top back on and sealed it. Then you take <clears throat> brown sugar and ketchup, mix it together with a, like a you know a baster, and you baste it. Ketchup, ketchup, and brown sugar. Oh, you never put ketchup on meatloaf? Okay. Hell no, man. Oh yeah, listen, listen. Listen. Tomato sauce. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Ketchup and brown sugar together. It makes like a barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's cool. All right. Why don't you just get barbecue it, sauce? Then you baste it. No, because you don't want that tangy stuff. Because then what you do is after you done basting it. You take hickory smoked bacon. Oh, okay. Oy. And you you this ain't kosher at all. You ladder it cheese you, and listen, bacon. You, you lattice it over the top of this fucking thing. Okay. <laughs> and then you then you baste it again and then you put it in the oven for an hour and a half. And forget about it. Okay. So you invite me over for dinner when? Sure, come over. Holy Whatever you want. Shit. I'm definitely coming over. That's insane. Oh, you, that you sounds love good. It. You would love it. That sounds That sounds good. like My you wife goes, a lot of paper towels. It's going to kill us, but it's so fucking good. Ever, ever, since the, ever since the operation, now I finally got the okay to go back in the gym. I'm working out again, and now you're going to come up with something like this. Ah, you'd love it, bro. You would love it. I'd probably eat it. I'm not going to lie about it. I'll eat it. I'll sit there right there with you, man. I ain't lying. Oh, it was good. And I got a buddy of mine that makes his own, awesome. uh, own wine. He's Italian. He I has pizza place. makes his own. Oh, this guy. Yo. Yo, Does he make red wine? Too? Oh, red wine? Oh my God, red and white. Yeah, oh I only like that. He makes the white too? Oh my God. My, my cousin still makes it. Maron, this fucking guy. Yeah, Maron, this, this fucking, fucking guy. This fucking guy, he makes Oh, look, you went from a Jew <laughs> to a guinea real quick. Yeah, you know that? Well, it's not a far it's, transition. What's it, the fucking Sicilian in you? <laughs> <laughs> I still believe, I still believe, because somebody asked me about what's it, Ed, you know what it's Sicilian? As dark as you are. I said, yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, y'all left the back door open. And the Mediterranean was there. That's Some of the brothers got them out riggers, man. Yeah. I said riggers. And got them, <laughs> <laughs> got them out riggers, man. And they Rigger made, who? They made it across. Nah, and it yo, was, it was on, Sicily man. Sicily was a country, it was on, country for yo, so long. Some of them female. Yo, let me tell you this. The Ethiopians. Me, Italian women are beautiful. I, I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. My favorite of all times, Phil Lorraine. Everybody knows Why that. Why do you think Italians wife, always say more? More. Oh, oh, my Get it? Oh. More. Manja. More. Anyway. Um. So Bea Lorraine is like the greatest. I think, she's the most, I think she's the most beautiful woman ever lived, even now. I, she's 90. I'd do it right now. Really? I'd do it right, with Betty White watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. But here's the deal. Sicilian chicks. They're unbelievable. They'll fuck you I'm up. I'm married too. to a Sicilian. They'll oh, they look the like face. they'll kill you. Oh, oh she will kill you. They look like they'll kill you. Oh, she yeah. will kill They're me crazy. in my sleep. I they'll know. They'll kill you. See, it's okay. There's but not there's knives are. and weapons all over the never, house. I love her to I have death. Never she's a seen, great woman. She'll do anything. And, I, and I'm for sure me. there are, but I've never seen her. She will cut you. Oh, she'll cut me. She will cut me. Without, without blinking ever. a fucking eye. Uh, she will. I wouldn't say I'm that. Say, I'm, they probably are out there. I just never seen one. You ever seen well, I've Sicilian? Never seen an ugly Sicilian woman. Yeah. An ugly Sicilian woman. Never seen one. Never seen it. No. They're out there. Well, you know what? They do have those ones on the commercials that are like ninety nine. Yo, they look good to me. They look good to me. What is it? They're breathing. They're okay, huh? I ain't lying. It's like, yo, they're at the heel of the boot just waiting. What about the sister you're from, man? Southern. Southern. <laughs> any southern than that. That's, I'm like Patton. I said, I'll split it in two and drive right down the middle. <laughs> you know she's old when she does the old churn the butter move <laughs> with, with two hands. <laughs> That's an old school move. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're this one makes you call it a chanda butter. Yeah. Oh, no, no, like a picture of my wife, so you guys will see. So that way, you guys will know she's she's thinking of both of you right now. You're wonderful men. Ah, look mm. at her. And nice. Isabella. Bella. Beautiful. Bella. Nice, man. Is she northern Italian, southern Italian? No, she's German, man. She's Puerto Rican? That's right. She's at, right there. She was asking for my papers. My papers. 
<laughs> and she didn't mean rolling papers either. Right? That's it. <laughs> Maybe she did. I, sometimes I get it wrong. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Oh, that's a, oh. Let me show the people. Yo, <laughs> check it out. This will be another reason for you folks to like me. Go right to the camera. Let's go to the camera. Let's go to yeah, the video. Man. Check out his wife. Look hey, at that hey, shit. Lucky me, huh? Women, lucky me, huh? Size doesn't matter. My ass. I got it. Hey, what? Well, well, hey, what we want to know I is saw, how much did she I owe the guy that? That's right. How, <laughs> how much did that's she owe? I owe country music. Yo, and hey, we, if you want to give us a call, give and us women a call that say right size now. doesn't matter is fucking full of shit. Talk right to there. Eddie Clark. Well, he always looks, always looks taller than me, man. It's because the back she had heels on. Six zero nine eight zero zero one zero zero. I know she's listening to this right now because she's got Hamilton Radio. So I might think is I'm just waiting because she can't really talk, but I just keep waiting for something to come on the text. Yeah, yeah she can't like, talk. Stop talking. About it. No, she she can really, text. No voice. Yeah, her voice. Is yeah, but she. Can, oh, oh. She's not wrong with her. You didn't break her hands or anything, right? No, hell no. Okay. Yo, she's German, dude. She's German. Yo, I, she, let me tell you something. She's like five ten. Her smallest brother is at least thirty pounds heavier, at least two inches taller than me. Her father's easily like around six 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 seven, and homeboy outweighs me by. I'm, I weigh two seventy. And homeboy outweighs me. You know what I'm saying? How tall are you? I'm 6'1". So that's what I'm going to look like. Yeah. I'll take it. That's what it. I'm going to look like. That's yeah. what my goal weight Start is. Start taking the semi No, actually, my, well, actually, I'm losing weight. <laughs> I'm actually losing weight now. I'm trying to get down, I'm trying to get down around like 235, yeah. 230. You know, because I want to, um, I'm going back to the gun show. I want to get back to the muscle. Well, you're, I'm 60 pounds back. away, so. Yeah, you can I'm do it. I'm getting there. Oh, dude. Take I'm getting like, there, bro. Three Steamroller. That's three the new thing. Three, four months top, but you got to give up. You got, you got I'm to, on the Ethiopian diet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you'll be skinny. I just week. eat mud, <laughs> mud bugs, and dog hair. That's it. And, you, and, of course, you need a fly to run across your face every now and then. <laughs> That's protein, bro. Are you kidding me? That's protein. Oh, my Speaking God. Speaking of which, every week I try, I try a new food. So I wanted to go healthy this week. because I've, I've always brought cookies. I'm like a new last. What was the last? I wasn't here last week. What did what I bring? Oreo. I didn't bring nothing last week. Oh, <laughs> strawberry, uh, strawberry, oh, yeah, Oreos. strawberry Oreos. Oh my god, dude! And you know what? They taste you know like chocolate you know covered strawberries. Hey, hey, Eddie, you ready for this? Story? Now the Indians want to get it on the black man and white man's. Thing. Oh, dude! Uh, for Christmas, he brings in a box of, of this. You want to talk about the Indian people oh being fucked up? All right, okay. The Dunkin' were Donuts Indian fucking nuts. Took candy canes, crushed them with a fucking hammer, yeah. okay, and put them on the glaze on a fucking donut. Called it a candy cane fucking donut. It was That's good just though. Wrong. Okay, I didn't touch it. Remember? That's no, just it was good. Wrong. I, no, I'm That's trying to stay away wrong. from that shit. You got. Let me tell you something, man. The secret losing weight. Because like, I remember before I, get, I had the cancer thing, and I because I was down like I was down to like two thirty five, two forty, and I shot back up over two seventy again, and I'm going back. Were you on again. meds and stuff? Well, yes. Yeah, between the meds and the the cancer stuff and all that stuff, I went through all that crap. But I in a year, man, I gained like forty pounds. Yeah. It's like, yo, but I'll have this. You had to do chemo and everything. No, that's okay. the whole thing. I was clean by the time when they took out my prostate. That's right. But Viagra works, y'all. Y'all need to know that. Viagra works. So don't don't leave your woman around me thinking he ain't gonna do nothing. You mess around, get fucked. Hey, I was, I was just telling Gene before we went on a year. Okay, you know that a lot of money today is being spent on uh, boob jobs yeah. and Viagra, right? So like the year two thousand and forty five. There's going to be a bunch of elderly people walking around with perky tits, okay, and hard-ons, and not knowing what the fuck to do with them. And the worst part will probably be the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Now, I know this one trans, uh, transsexual that had a boob job. A friend of mine, Jamie Bride, I love Jay. But it's like she went out and she said, yo, she always did this material about, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I used to be a guy, but I got no tits. And if I want to be, people pay attention, I need tits. I haven't seen this breast job, but I keep hearing stories about it. And I'm telling you, I told her, you got to send me a picture of it. I know that sounds very bad, but I need to see a picture of it because you've been talking, everybody, everybody's talking about it. Oh, our tits look great. I'm like, well, let's see them. <laughs> let's see them. Because women, when women get their tits, they get their jobs done. Oh, they, they show don't, everybody. They love people say, you used they to be a dude. But see, we're dudes. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even no disrespect to any transgender person. I respect you. Do what you got to do. I will be the first one to fight on your behalf to make sure you have the right to do it. But right. damn, if you're going to be a woman, be a woman. Yeah. Pop them tits out and let's see take a look. Shit. I want to see them. Now, now, if you ain't had your full surgery, you can. And you're your right about on. this. You want to know why? <laughs> so, I want to see that. <laughs> you're right. Tits involved. I want to see them. He might get you. You're right about that. You want to know why? Because there's a show uh, called Shameless. Yeah. And there's a gen- transgender Did on there that? that had their tits removed. 
and that that person walks around topless yeah. the whole show. I'm like, yo, like, that's, you that's, can't get a shirt on that crazy. person. I'm like, yo, man, it yo, wigs me out a little bit. It's you hard got, to watch. You got, but no, my thing is like, let's. See I respect it. all those people. You watch too. Shameless? You guys should all. Huh? You watch Shameless? I've seen it a couple times. Oh my up. god, that's, that's that is. Yeah, that's, I love it. I, yeah, the writers I, in that are fantastic. It's different. That's what I'm saying. The writers. Lee, Liam can't handle his coke, but that's okay. Liam can't handle his coke. He has to do what he has to do. <laughs> he's five. You know, he's, he's gonna, five years old. He's, five years old. He's gonna make, he's gonna make America great again. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all? Uh, oh man. So do you guys? You don't. You don't eat this shit. You want to try it? No, I don't want to. You want to try it? What? How? How is it healthy? I don't know. Yeah, it's a protein bar. So I, I, I eat protein. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Time. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Fit, oh, peanut butter, my favorite. Yeah, though. try it, bro. 30 grams of protein, piece? six. Yeah. Oh, that's gluten-free. Yeah. It's 30 grams of protein, yep. six grams of sugar. Sugar's not all. 380 right. calories, but it's the whole bar. It's a meal. You don't have to eat the whole thing. I just want to see, because I've had a million of these well, bars before. Well, just open before. one, then. Yeah. Let him eat right. that one. Okay. Let me put and some. I'll try this one. Yeah, I'm not used to putting anything oh, it looks this, nice. this dark and this big in my mouth. But for, You're full for of shit. the sake of the but show. For you, you'll do it. Can you do time? I can do it in all one time. Yeah. <laughs> That's why my pants keep hanging how's down. Your gag, how's your gag reflexes? You, 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 you I'll let you know in a second. Weren't you on that show, Black is <laughs> Black is Still Black? Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> you did a white guy. Look at this. I'm not doing I'm Bro, not, I'm not going to prison, folks. <laughs> the, the one thing you didn't do is you didn't you didn't play with the balls, bro. You got to. Well, see, that goes to show you. I'm obviously not used to it. Right. Uh, is there something see. you'd like to tell us? <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, that's good. It's well, well, Mikey. I can do this. Yeah, I can do it. What you hear is like, listen, if you want to call in, give us a call at uh, 609 800 You know who Robert Look at that, You've heard about it. Now you're going to see it. Black on black crime. Black <laughs> on black crime. Yo, you know what's funny? When you shit, it comes out just like that. <laughs> Look, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Even my wife fell down. She thought it was funny. You're gonna kill the guy. <laughs> I was yo, I was going so hard the other day. The sour cream dude came out and said, "Not thick enough." <laughs> <laughs> I missed oh, that guy. Shit. That was also the same guy that said, "Time to make the donuts." By the way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, you know who? Uh, do you know who Robert Irvine is? I know that name. He's that British asshole. Like weightlifting dude on uh, Food Network. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At uh, Dinner Impossible. Yeah, yeah, Dinner Impossible. Yeah, that's him. That's his bar. It just came out. Good, good job. Yeah, they're only fourteen ninety nine a bar, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. Fourteen ninety nine a bar. They were two for five because it's a meal. Oh, that's not bad. No, that's not bad. It's a meal. I'm back in the gym starting Monday. Are you really? Yeah, religiously again. Uh, you, see what gym you join? Uh, I've been with Retro Fitness. All right, Retro's cool. Yeah, but my thing is. And I'm going to say this. Hey, by the way, can I blast somebody on this show? Sure, do whatever you, blast you want. Blast whatever you want. Future Fitness sucks. Stay away Future from it. It's a ripoff. <laughs> Where's that? Future. They're all over the place down here. They're full of shit. They get you in there, man. They tell you, oh, they get they, they, they salesmen. It's so weird. Salesman brings me and my, my wife in. They're walking in. It's all good. And uh, guy says, I want to you know, give you a little tour. Now, I've I'm, I'm, I'm joined Planet Fitness. They take you around. It takes about five minutes. They show you the place. Here's the deal. You want to sign? You sign. If not, we'll catch you later. This guy runs us around at least 45 minutes. And now I'm telling him, like, okay, I'm seeing. I'm tired. I want to go home. I'm, I'm out of shape. I don't want to walk all over your gym like this, you know. So <laughs> that's why I'm not here. So he goes, hey, hey. So he's trying to play me up. Hey, we got these different machines. And try this arm machine, and I'm doing it. And he's got the weight a little bit too heavy. But my wife is sitting I guess he figures I'm going to pump it up for the old lady. <laughs> I hit it twice, and I went, you know, fuck this. You know? I said, look, you're dude. Not ready, you're not and working now out. Now I'm asking a bunch of questions. And the question I'll keep asking is, okay, how much is all this? Yeah, man, but that's not it. You haven't seen it. So now it's like, I said, I'm not buying a car from you. The, deal, the car dealership's up the street. <laughs> I'm asking you about a gym deal. Takes me all over the place. Well, make a long story longer. We end up leaving out, right? Uh, we end up going upstairs, Fonny. Oh, the, the last thing he says to me, take, I'm going to take it back to the office, but I'm going to tell you something. He says, would um, your husband not joining stop you from joining? And Karen goes, no, I like it. I see so Ed, uh, her not joining and stop you joining? I said, dude. How much? Come to my office. We sit down. They give you like three different ridiculous prices, two different ridiculous prices, then one that's a little bit reasonable, like 39 bucks, some crap like that, 29 bucks, whatever it is. And then like they give you that the, you can pay $15. And you can, but here's the deal. You're stuck in that one gym. They've got like maybe 20 of them. 
You're stuck in the one gym. You, you can't, can't go, go to the other gyms? You can't, no, go, to the other can't gyms? go to the other gyms. Oh, fuck that. Now, he said, what I could do is if you tell me, I told him, so I travel around a lot. Well, if you happen to be where we are and you're working somewhere, it's not worth you it. can call me up and I'll call them and get you. I'm thinking, no. I, I said, guest pass. That's not bad. But I'll call the guy. But then he goes, and then you can pay five, ten bucks to get us. Oh, wait, five I'm or paying ten you. Bucks. And, I, and then that's not even the worst part of it. You get to see, they get all these people to pinch your fat and then they send you to the chiropractor. It's all like a scam to get you to use these other places. But that's not the worst part. The trainer. You get one trainer. You get one free session of training a month with right. a program to follow. All they do is run around behind you all day talking about, we have a special. Seven, you know, you can get ten uh, trainings, uh, extra trainings for $700 a month. Nah, that's bullshit. Does my last name look like Trump to you, you son God of a bitch? damn, $700 a month. Yeah, he wasn't dealing with that. If I had $700 a month, I'd be hooked up to a machine that exercises my body for me. $700 exactly. a month. It's like my man at commercial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, working I'm working hard. hard. I'm working <laughs> real hard. <laughs> Get it going, y'all. Going up the mountain. <laughs> Can but, I write that off? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just like, it's like, I mean, look. Uh, Future Fitness itself is a good idea. They, I, they, would, they should probably be the best damn gym in the country. But they don't tell you nothing up front. They got car salesmen. But the, and the other thing is, too, the dude that's telling me to do all this stuff, all this money, he's out of shape. Oh, that's funny. He's out of shape? Nah, that's hilarious. I'm like, you can't hire you? fat people at a fucking gym. It he wasn't knows. necessarily fat. Oh, I get it, because it's future. Yeah. We're not in the future yet. I just look. Right? <laughs> in the future, this guy will be in shape. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know what? It's, it's like I, I went, I joined, I went religiously. Retro's good. Yeah, no, but I went religiously like last January mm -hmm. to around August, September in that area. And then for some reason just stopped. We were talking about it before you got here. And uh, I got to go back. I, you know, I feel it. I know it. You I know. had the same situation with you today as you did, bro. I was on the phone canceling my cable. And... First of all, you can't get the 800 number off the website, right? So then I had to Google it. Prompts, this, that. By the time I got to an operator, now she's asking me all the same questions I just pushed the buttons for, Ooh, right? Yep. She goes, oh, what's your account number? Because they know you don't have your bill in front of you, so they ask you your account number. So I, she didn't know I had it in front of me. So I read her off my account number. In the background, oh. she goes, oh, shit. <laughs> she go, no, she goes, I, for some reason, I can't access your account with the account number. I said, listen, when you're done jerking me off... I said, cancel my account. I said, cut the shit. She's like, I don't know. For some reason, I can't get in here. I go, yeah, because I'm trying to cancel it. I said, but if I owed you $17, you'd have the account open in 33 seconds. Oh, that's the other thing about Future Fitness. Get a load of this. After you quit. When you, I, I told him three, two days before, the three days before my, my, my month was up. I mean, it went like twice. But three days before my month was up, I sent him a letter. I don't want the service anymore. Came and handed it to him. They called me up and said, you, you have to pay for an extra month. Why? They said it was in the contract, and I looked. It was there. Uh, now, what I did is I hired Ant-Man. Ant-Man? Yeah, Ant-Man to sh shrink all the way down, and he saw it. It looked like the Empire State Building to him. You know, but it's like, yeah, you had to pay for an extra month. They said, and you're free to come back for the entire month. I just told you this place sucks. So why am I going to so pay So you have to give him 30 day notice. I, yeah, and I gave him another 40 bucks. It was $39. I gave him another 40 bucks. Oh, I would have, dude, retro, I would have went back to the gym to use your, I would have wore jeans on all the bikes. <laughs> okay? I'm serious. I would have went, four days I wouldn't have showered. <laughs> I wouldn't have wiped for a week. And then I would have sat on the bicycle seat and fucking gave everybody fucking tetanus. <laughs> God, I wish I had talked to you first. Are yeah. you kidding me? I would have went on the treadmill with fucking pot I would have been eating spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> with it fall on over the place. Like I <laughs> I would have fucked their gym up. Screw them. Oh, who take a take a shit in the plants. <laughs> you ever wonder why women go in and out of the women's locker room so much? Why? I found out. My girlfriend told me they go all they all go in there and fart and come back out. They go in the women's locker room, yeah, fart they lift, and they, they come lift, back out. Fart. Like, I could give a shit. I rip ass right there. I can't hear it. I got headphones on. I don't care. If you heard it, it's your fault for not having headphones on. What do you want from me? <laughs> Put headphones on like a normal person. You know what I'm saying? I, jerk off. I, love, the, I love walking on the treadmill. You know what I do? You're sick, boo. I find, I find the hottest chick with the tightest fucking pants with no underwear on. Because I could read lips. <laughs> and I get, I get behind them. And I, I walk until my fucking shoes fall off, bro. I don't even care. I love it. 
Oh my god, oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. One time I was riding the bike really fast, and then I slowed down, and I stopped for a second, and the lady next to me looked at me, and she was like, like, looked at me, because I was going real fast, and then I just stopped, and she's staring at me. I looked at her and went, I'm going downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Started laughing. Oh, my God. Hey, by the way, this thing is pretty good. You like it, right? Yeah, I'm almost done with mine. Yeah, Robert Irvine, baby. So I got it at Wawa. I love Wawa, man. You can't beat Wawa. We talked about this before. What was that other place you liked? Turkey sandwiches, bro. Yeah, what was that one place you called? It was called? Skeets. Skeets, Skeets. <laughs> oh, hey, dude, dude. Have you ever heard of Harold's New York Deli? Yeah. The one that's in, in Edison? Mm -hmm. You've been there? Holy shit is all I have to say. My, 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 one of the colleagues I work with just took me there the other day. Mm -hmm. Dude, I got to show you pictures. They have cakes. Mm -hmm. I, I, no shit this high. This guy next to us ordered an apple turnover. If I show you a picture of Yo. one apple turnover. Man it was, it was, man was, cover? It was an apple pie. It, it's a whole apple pie. That's what it is. That's and it's one serving. Yes. And the sandwiches. The sandwich, it's like one of those, like, like the, 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 the tongue is the die for. You ever, you I, I don't know. The, the, um, the old people next to me had the uh, the brisket. The, uh, the, 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 talking about the brisket. Uh, you ever do the Holiday shit. Inn in Totowa? Uh -huh. uh, up 46 there? There's a wall, there there's a Harold's in there. Well, my ex, well, my ex there's wife, a Harold's in there? There is, yeah. yeah. So my, when my ex-wife uh, threw me out, that's why I stayed. <laughs> I, would, I, I, came, I came, nope, I, uh, Holiday Inn in Totowa. I came all the way down from Albany, <laughs> and I stayed there for like a month. I opened for Goomba Johnny at uh, that love, Holiday Inn. I love Goomba Johnny. And there was another comic on the... Uh, on the opening, and um, got a phone call too. But uh, finish, got, finish your story. Yeah, he got wasted, and uh, he was wasted off his ass. And he stole the lemon meringue pie out of the display mm -hmm. from Harold's. And he's walking in the parking lot, and the guy is screaming at him. And he goes, "All right, all right. Well, how much could it be?" The guy wanted two hundred eighty-five dollars for the cake. Hold on, caller. Two hundred eighty-five. Yeah, because each slice is like ten bucks. So uh, we got a whatever. caller? Yeah, the, uh, 11, wasn't it? We, we have, have a caller. We have a caller. Oh. Hello, Hello. caller. Who's, who, do we, who do we have on the line? Hello. 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 You on the 7-Eleven? Is this the Buddha show? Yes, sir. Is, What's is up? Is this the Buddha show? Yeah. What's is up? This is the Buddha show. I am... I am beside myself with glee to be talking to the Buddha show. Hey, what's going on? You, this, this is Spike's girlfriend. He didn't show up this week because some asshole got a job or some shit. I don't know. But he might be getting out of jail soon. Who, who is this? This Spick guy? Spick? What? Spick. I'm on the Buddha show with <laughs> Mr. Conti. To it's cover himself up, he, yeah, he insults the, the Latino yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. You, know, there's really? a, you know, there's like 10 million black people. There's like 4.5 billion Latinos. You might yeah. want to think about that that's shit. Really, yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's all you pick up in Freehold if you drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Where he is right now. <laughs> that, that, is, that, is absolute, that is absolutely not true. I, I managed to pick up the Mexican people right at the airport. <laughs> What's up, Spike? Spike, hey! What's up, fellas? You driving, hey, yeah, bro? your brother. Are you driving today, I, bro? I, 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 I am driving. You I better be, over. motherfucker. I just did an airport run, and I wanted to call and say I missed you guys this week and hope to see you soon. Hope you had a great show. Hey, are, are you going to be here next week, or am I on my own? No, I, I, I'll i be there next week. All right, cool. Hey, I'll be in Florida. If, 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 I ha if I have to beat him with my blackjack, I'll be there. Maybe we beat him with your what? <laughs> with your what? <laughs> Maybe we'll get Eddie's wife to come in. Uh, yeah, she's coming and she's talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear her now. You guys busy tonight, bro? How you making out? You busy? Dude, I just, I, I, the, I was working, then I wasn't working. So I was like, cool, I get to go to the show. And then, like, I was working because he was stuck for somebody. At the, he had an airport pickup. Yeah. Supposedly pick up at 550. I just dropped off now from, from that pickup. It's, it's, it's it hard to so hear. Bad. One day, one day, six hours. Nice. It, what is that it, doing? It was What's that? So Uber? Bad Uber. That is that you? One day, six hours. I just actually did six told hours. me to pull over. You he would it? take yeah. care of me. Nice, but bro. How much is your insurance? Because I was driving around the airport so much. They don't know. Well, see, you got to watch it. That's bad. <laughs> you got to watch yeah. out for that. It's hard to hear. It's hard yeah, to. It's hard to hear it. Spike over uh, Eddie Clark jerking off. Right. <laughs> they'll drop. They'll <laughs> drop it quick. Uh, is, is Mr. Clark there? Of course yes, I am. Is. Hello, Mr. Eddie. So nice to be seeing you. Fuck you, nigga. 
<laughs> you know Spike. That's the guy with the straw hat. Yeah, I know. He's the yeah. one. He's, 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 he, sounds, he sounds like a, a white guy dipped in caramel. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome to hear Spike well, we sober. All, we, all, uh, we all sound alike. Is yeah, exactly. We all sound alike? Yo, Spike, how much you make today? Um, about a buck three eighty. Six hours, two hundred seventeen dollars and eighty cents. And the eighty cents. Shit. You had to put the eighty. You know, cents I keep telling you guys all the time. I'm a Jew. I, yeah. <laughs> I keep telling. I don't have a car. Good I keep telling you guys. I keep why. telling you guys all the time, man. You Ooh. got to hang out in the Montclair area. There's money up in there. I, I drive all the way from down here to go up there. To right? do Uber. Yeah. It's it's worth it to me. Uber. Exactly. It's worth. I can show exactly. you. I can, I can show you every call I took, man. It's it's worth. So it. what do you, you get? Ten ninety nine on that? Yeah. Holy Jesus. All right. But I got you know I know how to work the government. No. I know how to work. Sure, I'm, a, I'm a Trump Ma, Ma, I'm a guy. Nice. I know how to work the government. Six dollars, two hundred and something dollars. I'm a Trump. Yeah, boy. and Eddie Eddie that, steals that, someone's that, car that and uses good. that in Montclair. <laughs> Whatever works. He goes, that that works. Works. <laughs> he goes to Newark, steals a car, goes to Montclair, and then bring to work, and then bring it back. <laughs> I make, dude, I make money too, and I steal a hearse and pick up ninety year old people. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, this is what you can be riding in for just forty nine ninety five. I'm not I mean, dead I, yet. I, I steal a hearse. I hang out. I'm not. Her. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I, I, I steal yet. a hearse. I hang out. <laughs> I, I hang out, out of the back. <laughs> I hang out in front of nursing homes. <laughs> Give me twenty bucks. I'll leave. <laughs> That's funny. All right, listen, fellas. Uh, I'll let you finish your show. I just wanted to Thank tell you, you I missed you and hope we you had a great show, brother. Spike, I miss you too. Next week we'll have some fun. Just like diarrhea, I miss you. Hey, if you want hey, to call man, in, I, give I, us. I, okay. I, I, I didn't. I didn't want you to miss out on being spiked this week. That's all. Ah, uh, cool. It's always better <laughs> spiked. If you want to call in, give us a call. All right, guys. Six zero nine eight zero zero one zero zero three. Yes, a call. We got five minutes left. So, by the way, today's show is brought to you by Fun Crit. What are you talking about? Fit Crunch and and racist black people. <laughs> Two things power. that are rarely found in America. Eight fifteen. You got five minutes. What was eight thirty? How many times have you been on this show? I don't know. I, last time I was the here next show starts o'clock. at eight thirty, right? You got any water around here? Yeah, I'm dying of my natural some, you thirst. Want some of this shit? I, 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 huh? Right behind you. Get a glass. I will give you some of this. Yeah, yeah give me a glass. There's cups over there. There's cups, there's cups, cups over there. That's right. Yeah, we don't have food Black service. We, we got no ten cup. minutes. Give us no a call. Food. Ten got minutes. Got no food service, bro. How about how about ten minutes? Ten minutes? Ten minutes? Give us a call. We got a five minute five minute man. We got a five minute man. We got a man. We got eight minute window. We got a ten minute window. We got a ten minute window. You got to call one eight hundred six zero nine one zero zero three. First, you can't take what you want. Nice. You should never tell a brother to take what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> that puts your woman in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't have to worry. I told you she's so silly and she'll cut you. That's true. That's true. I don't want to take a chance of that happening. Have a drink with me. I'm man. good, man. I can't. Have a drink with Thank me. You. I don't want to drink alone. I can't have pour a little. You're not going to pour a little on the ground for the brothers that ain't here? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. They ain't here. I don't care. I used to be a cop. My attitude is you broke the law and you got your ass bucked up. Fuck it. <laughs> so, hey, you still uh, you still doing Luke Cage, or is that all done and over? Don't know yet. They haven't called back about this. Uh, they haven't started shooting yet. I know they haven't. I don't know if they, what the writers are doing. We're still waiting to find out. Hey, I heard Car- uh, so Carlo was uh, doing uh, Bull. Uh, he was an extra on Bull yesterday. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Yeah, but that wasn't him in that. That, hey, was, that wasn't Carlo? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, he's an eat to the scene with him. And, and, the, and the one guy goes, is that you in the red hoodie? That ain't him in the red hoodie. Really? Did you look at it? No, I'm hey, serious. Take, take a look at it. You you know Carlo. I know Carlo. I call not Carlo. Eh, it's not Carlo. If that's Carlo, I'm you. <laughs> I was in the water Anything's boy. Anything's possible. You know that? <laughs> I was yeah. a, I was in the water boy. You really? Yeah, in the stadium. I was uh, row C300, <laughs> seat 4, you know section what I, C. One of, one of the biggest things I did when I first started doing comedy, I never forgot, it's the worst lie I've ever told. I, I wanted the headlines so bad. And this guy opened his club in Syracuse. And this other dude was a scrupulous, unscrupulous booker. And he told him I was in Ghostbusters. Oh, and shit. the guy asked him what part. You remember the part where all the dead people are walking around? It's the, the, the guy, the ghost that was jogging. Yeah. yeah. He told the guy that was me. Nice. You saw how skinny that guy was? Yeah. yeah. So I go into the place. You know, at the time, I, I think I weighed like about maybe 235, 240. <clears throat> I walk into the place, and the guy takes one look. He goes, I, I said, yeah, it was computer graphics. Well, anyway, he did his research. Uh, that's after we did the shows. Got paid, the whole nine yards. Uh, um, I remember Jim Boheim I'm not, actually came to that show. I signed an autograph. Eddie Clark. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, he did his read. What are you gonna watch the movie and pause the no, credits? Went, no, the dude the dude went back and he looked at it later and then he got really pissed off. He got really pissed off because they had all the kids from Syracuse University showed up. Who cares? Everybody came out and said, Yo, that's kinda stupid. That's well, what's he kinda stupid? made the money. He the made big bad. money that night. He did, but he got pissed off and he he you could prove it. You should have just drunk across the fucking stage and said, here's what I did. <laughs> Who cares? That's funny. Who gives a shit? See, that's why half the credits these people have, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Exactly. Are you serious? I was on the gong show season seven. Who cares? Nobody, that's nobody why, gives a that's, shit. That's why I love some of the introductions. Some of the, oh. You ever see these comics that show up and they get these introductions that make no sense at all? Well, that's why people are like, who have you opened for? Well, if I'm headlining, who cares who I open for? Exactly. Right. I'm not going to say, oh, tonight we have headlining Steve Buda. He opened up for Stevie Wonder, but he didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie never seen him come. <laughs> He's a fuck. I did, open, me? I did open for Ray Charles once. Yeah? Yo, that dude, I don't care. I hope you, Ray Charles pants, I don't care. Biggest asshole that ever lived. Really? Really. I, I think I would that. get seasick around him. I get motion sickness. <laughs> so like him and Michael J. Fox, I get fucked up near. I'd have to take a fucking uh Stay still, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now you he was an asshole. I have to they, take a drama me. Tell you why I, I worked over the summer uh State Chance, we did Coldplay, and they brought uh Michael J. Fox out, okay, to play a song at the end. Uh -huh. And he they put a guitar on him and he was playing. And I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were too much I used to could. do a joke, but people like not booed, they would awe. And I would say at the end, I go, because of all these celebrity shows that people do, and Muhammad Ali was alive at the time. I said, if you really want to have a, a freaking contest or a, a celebrity death match, you should have Muhammad Ali versus Michael J. Fox in a snow globe shaking contest. <laughs> and people used to be like, ooh. That's oh. fucked up. I'm like, fuck you people. He's but a millionaire. That is funny. That is He's a, a fucking blizzard. millionaire. It's a blizzard. It's a blizzard. <laughs> or sometimes... <laughs> Or sometimes yeah. I would say, I don't know, it won't stop snowing. <laughs> or I would say, or you could have a race where they're both holding popcorn and see who has the most in the fucking bucket at the end. Give it the Jimmy Pop and see who. And <laughs> Stand the by fire. the fire. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> That's good. I didn't, like, friend, I didn't like him either. You know no, Craig Lloyd? Ali, I met him. I didn't like him really? either. He can kiss my ass, too. You know Craig well, Lloyd Grin? I'll, stick, now, I'll so. stick my dick in his grave. He can suck it. Fuck you know, him. You know Craig Lloyd Grin <laughs> at all? Him. You know him? No. The short, well, he's one of our friends. He does a joke about this girl. Hey, your friend. He, he was about epileptic. He had an epileptic seizure. He went out with some chick, and he put her in the tub with his wash. <laughs> <laughs> Do my fucking laundry. That's fucked up. You know who I did like, though? Ronald Reagan. I worked for him. Ronald Reagan? I like. I used to work, uh, I was a security officer at the U.S. Mission to the United Nations for the State Department, and he was the coolest cat in the world. He was big, and I'm... Was he I, senile I, I, yet? I feel bad saying this, but was I... Was he senile yet? Somebody please give me a lie detector test. I will prove it. I will... Next time I come in, I'm going to bring my State Department ID so you guys can no, see I, guys, believe I still you. have it. But I'm, I'm telling you, man. I worked the... Uh, that brother was... Yo, I know why he was the President of the United States. The most powerful man in the world? That motherfucker had a slong on him. <laughs> True story. We're on the ambassador's level. I don't know if I'm just going to say this because they made me sign, but it's a, I, I swear, swear it's the truth. I was in charge on the ambassador's floor. I was the guard in front of the doors to get through the double doors to get to the ambassador's office. I'm sitting there. President comes in. President comes up, and when he first came in, like uh, he was, he was out. He's in the room, and they got a secure room and all this crap in there. But he goes in the room, and I had a guy relieve me, and I said to go to the bathroom. Now the bathroom was right next to my uh, about maybe 20 feet down from my place, so I, uh, my station. So I go in, I take a leak. A couple of seconds later, the uh, head, of, uh, secret, head of the Secret Service detail comes in and says, you know, Clark, is this room secure? I said, yeah. Just, and I was joking around. I said, yeah, it's me and my dick. I was goofing around. And he goes, uh, he talks the thing. I swear to God, urinal right next to me. President pulls his shit out the piss. Damn. <laughs> As a black man, yeah, I look. shriveled up. I sh <laughs> yo, this brother was, yo, Nancy was at Yo, there's a reason why she didn't leave that brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got news for you. Black women, yo, if they had a scene, yo, they would have been Republicans real quick. <laughs> Jesse Jackson, Louis Farrakhan's wife would have left. He had the, he had the Iran the, uh, missile crisis yo, in that his bro pants. that brother was serious, man. <laughs> so uh, he, I, he launched up that bad boy. I'm telling you right now, you have to would have went, yo, man, it's your place. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. 
I'm good. He was hung, man. I bet, I bet really? Bill Clinton. True story. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear, I swear to God. Be careful. That yeah. brother was hung. <laughs> He's like, Michael Michael Lewinsky Lewinsky that's awesome. Uh, huh? Well, oh, if Michael careful. Lewinsky had been there, we never would have heard of Bill Clinton. <laughs> no, I, 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 what did he did he say anything to you? Like, no, he just like, be careful. The yeah, water is cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just came and didn't really talk and like that. And I wanted to say something, but I, you know, I'm. It's funny because I'm standing there, but it's like, but I kind of glanced. I went, oh, I was like, first I'm like, yeah, brother. What's, I said, oh shit. You're not gonna I believe just, me. I just put. You're my, not gonna believe I me when I tell you this. I put my shit away. I washed my hands and got the fuck out. Of here. And, I, and I saw him. He got all my respect. Yes, sir. You're not, <laughs> you're not gonna believe me when I tell you this. I had the same situation happen, but not with him. Cool. With yeah. somebody else, and I didn't know. I was in the bathroom. I'm washing my hands, and there's an old man at the urinal for a, a, like a weird amount of time. You know, because I went in. And used the stall because he was at the urinal. And it was a small bathroom. And I'm washing my hands. And he gets next to me, gets a paper towel. And I just hear this voice go, <laughs> when you get to be my age, you got to jiggle the fucking thing. Get the fuck out. I didn't know it was Rodney. 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 It was in, I swear to God. It, I didn't they know say he, he was hung. They say Yo, it was, was hung. Just, yeah. He was there jiggling and jiggling. I, when I work, real quick, when I work for Fox News, um, when I was working for Fox News, Fox Sports, and I'm doing a NASCAR, I'm doing NASCAR Minute, and I was doing NASCAR stuff. And I went down when they opened up the Hall of Fame. And Richard Petty. I don't, guys, don't think I go in the bathrooms looking at guys' slongs. I don't. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is the only story you got right now. No, but Petty, man. Yo, Petty's another one, man. There's a reason they call how him many, the king. How many this prick? week on Prick how of the many, Week how many, how many, with Petty Clark. Really? Whose well, dick did you see this week, I, inter- I interviewed him. I actually See, now, him. I was trying to tell you before. I, I met Bill Clinton. I didn't see his prick, but I met Bill Clinton. <laughs> I, 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 I was doing... I was working... I worked for John Shearer. I seen Hillary's. <laughs> I heard Hillary's hung, hung, hung worse than her husband is. Yeah, man. But, uh, she I, throws us over his shoulder. I, <laughs> I, uh, I, I used to work for John Shear, uh, you know, doing the security for concerts and stuff really? like that. Yeah, and we worked at the Apollo Theater. And it was a, a, oh, a lot of de- sausage a there. Dem- democratic, uh, <laughs> she some kind of democratic thing was going on. And Bill, uh, we had uh, Mike, was, <laughs> you're fucked up. I'm trying to talk serious. Ahead, fuck me like, up. Go ahead, go ahead. I was like, no, but uh, we had, uh, there was, we were in charge. They, they closed the whole street behind it down, you know, for the stage door. And they had uh, a bunch of trailers and stuff. It was Michael Jackson, Diana Ross, and uh, Bill Clinton. Now, you know how they send a detail out first yeah. in the afternoon? Yeah. So the detail comes out. They, I was team. one of the supervisors. And they come over to me and they go, look, you know, this is what's going to happen. He's going to come out. He'll probably shake a couple of hands and stuff, say hello to a few people. And, and then he's going to go in. He's going to play the saxophone. And then, you know, he'll come out and so on and so forth. And I said, well, these three guys are going to be with you. And they're like, okay, fine. So I said, well, you know, if he shakes your hand, you know, can you talk to him? He said, yeah, you can, you know. I said, can you ask him anything? He's you get anything you want. Said, oh, that's cool. Right? So then, like, 20 minutes, 40 minutes goes by, and one of the guys mentions, hey, you know, he's a stand-up comic. Like, that. So he comes over and goes, what, what do you want to ask him? I go, I just want to know how Monica was. Like, he goes, no, you got to stay away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> they probably kicked you out of the building. They, <laughs> when he showed up, he went... He went to go shake my hand, and the guy cut in the way, like 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 to brush him away you, from you me. You take that chance. And he no, and he just he walked over to me, and he shook my hand, and it was pretty cool. That's funny. It was funny. Well, thank you for coming, man. Uh, You're welcome anytime. You know that. You'll right? thank yeah. me when I'm going too. Believe me. I'm, yeah, come and gone. That's I got. I, I got to run over and go pick up some uh, iced tea. It's something else for my wife. She told me. Uh, uh, oh, uh, if you're listening, no, call honey, it was honey and something else. You guys screwed me up. I can't remember. Nothing, sure, it wasn't man. money. No, it wasn't, it wasn't money. <laughs> money and I'm, honey. I'm, I'm a Jew. I'm, I'm a Jew. Jew. I don't give her nothing. Well, give her agit is what I give her. Join us next week. Conti will be here. Spike will be here. Uh, and I'll be. I'll, I'll be moving. doing. I'll be doing prick of the week. I'm moving my mom. <laughs> I'm moving hey, Eddie, my mom, you, so I won't be why here you next week. Why don't give us a call from Florida? Tell us about the dicks you see down I will do that. <laughs> Who's well, on Prick of the Week? Hey, guess what? Thanks, I went guys. to the bathroom and I saw somebody else's dick. Good night. We'll see you later. Night, night cool and honey. Thanks for calling night in. Cool and honey. Thanks That's for what watching. We'll get. Night, night cool and honey. honey. Night cool and honey. All right, guys. You're clear. That took a weird time. <laughs> <laughs> that took a really weird time. Good story. I hear you, man. I hear you. All right. I was good guy though. I work I I my detail was basically his daughter, Marine, who I love. I love Marine. I would marry her. She was like, yo. 
I dug when he rang it. Yeah. I was hanging, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, oh, it's right. Can't see it says can't play video. What's up, buddy? I've had that the whole time. Come on, man. That's cool. Let's go. 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 Let's